The Great Lakes are facing one of the biggest threats of our generation, Asian carp. Having successfully invaded the Mississippi River Basin, they're eating their way north and already dominate the waterways of southern and central Illinois. This is the most important line of defense. Electric barriers in Romeoville, Illinois, only 35 miles from Chicago. The electric barriers repel Asian carp with an electric charge, keeping them from swimming closer to Lake Michigan. But some worry that electric barriers aren't enough and are demanding alternative solutions to keep Asian carp out. But what's the fuss over a fish? Why are Asian carp such a threat? And why should you even care? Asian carp are an invasive fish, but they're actually a type of minnow. The only thing is they're like a gigantic minnow. Asian carp can get up to 100 pounds and they can be over four feet long. That's like the size of a 12 year old and they can also eat up to a fifth of their body weight on any given day. But it's not necessarily how much they eat, it's specifically what they're eating. Asian carp eat plankton, which is the foundation of the Great Lakes food web. So by eating large amounts of plankton, they're actually taking away food from native fishes. If you take away the foundation, you can be causing the entire food web to collapse. The stakes are high. The multi-billion dollar commercial and recreational fishing industries could be hit the hardest. One species of Asian carp can even jump, risking injury to those who enjoy spending time on the water. This isn't the first time the Great Lakes have faced a major threat. From alewives and sea lamprey to zebra and quagga mussels, aquatic invaders have already damaged our Great Lakes ecosystem. We'll never rid the Great Lakes of these established invasive species or erase their impact. But we still have time to keep Asian carp from making the Great Lakes their home. If we act now. To learn more, visit shedaquarium.org slash Great Lakes.